early application of herbicides. We talked about this during the very first Ag PhD TV show. You know what? Not a whole lot has really changed. The reason why we really encourage farmers always to use early application is because you've got a better chance to get rainfall, you've got a better chance to get that herbicide not just into the soil, but into the weeds, into the target you're after to get great weed control. We don't want to invest money and not have great weed control. Well, getting good performance is really important, Brian. Here's the other thing I remember growing up uh, we were not that big a farm operation, but our dad was doing so much of the work. The dad said, I have to do the herbicides now because once that planter's rolling, I really don't want to stop. So he would try to get the pre's out for corn and for soybeans. That way he could just keep that planter rolling through planting season. Now, if you're raising a bunch of different crops, that may not be the case for you. You may say, well, I'm just going to put my pre's out for corn, then get the corn out and do the same for soybeans and so on. Okay, so when we think about these pre-emerge herbicides, one of the big questions that I get is, well, can I lay it on the soil surface? Is it going to disappear? Sure, if it's trifluralin or sonalan, there's high vapor pressure, now we've got a problem. With the group 15s, with just about every other pre-emerge herbicide I can think of, you absolutely can lay it on the soil surface. It can stay there for a while until you get rain. Well, laying the herbicides on top is one option. Lightly incorporating them is another. The thing about lightly incorporating them is that you've taken away a little bit of the moisture requirement. Everybody's always curious, well, how much rain is it going to take to really activate this herbicide or get it into the soil solution where it's going to be taken in by weeds to kill them? Well, it takes quite a bit of rain if you're laying it on top of very dry soil. If you're incorporating it into soil, now the moisture that it would take to move it from the soil surface down into the soil, well, that's already done. That job is done. Now you just need a little bit of moisture to get it to go. Now, when I say a little bit of moisture, there's a whole bunch of advertising out there that'll say, oh, we need less than a quarter of an inch. No way. We need a good strong inch at least. And if you've been really dry, you may need more than that. Now, can you get by with a half an inch or something like that? Sure, in some situations, especially if you have good soil moisture or a very light soil type. But regardless of how much rain you get, if you do incorporate that herbicide, it's going to take just a little bit less moisture to get it to work. In general, we really like early application of herbicide because you want to get your crop off to a good start. If you have that field weed free early on, that's really important. The one downfall of early application though is let's say you're going to move a lot of dirt with your planter. Now most of the time that's not necessary, but if you are doing that on your farm, it's very possible that you could kick the herbicide out of the row and now you're not going to have very good effectiveness. If you've had a bunch of rain prior to getting out there, so let's say you apply the pre-emerge herbicide, you get some rain, well then I feel pretty good even if you do move a little bit of dirt because now the herbicide's down into the ground a little bit. But let's say you've had no rain, the herbicide's still laying on the surface of the soil and you move dirt, you very likely could see weeds coming right in that row. So that's probably not a good idea. If you're worried about that, yes, you can wait to spray until after you plant your crop, but here again, you know, we get kind of concerned because now you've got to have rain fairly quickly. You have a lot more time if you do apply that herbicide very early pre, and that's the reason why we talk about it. We've had good success applying those pre-emerge herbicides early in the spring, especially if we're trying to target our weed of the week. We'll show you which herbicides work best coming up next.